Okay, so in this setup, I have uh, five sets of LED and resistor. I'm going to connect all cathodes or negative legs to ground. Connecting this leg to the other one, to the other cathode, will connect to ground. So that will be easier on our part. Oops. There. Can actually change the color. Let's change it to black. There. And then what we'll do is we'll make the LED switch on one by one depending on the value and the variable. So we are going to connect this resistor to pin number two. This one connects to pin number three. This one connects to pin number four. This connects to pin number five. This one connects to pin number six. Do not use pins number zero and one as they are being used in uploading code so if you will use zero and one in your program then you'll have a hard time uploading code to your board so leave them be so instead we'll use two three four five and six so in the code you have to set pins number two three four five and six to output and then here, there's a loop that will count from 1 to 5. Inside the loop is a set of if statements that will check if n is equal to a value. In this case, if n is equal to 1, then do this. Set this to high and the others to low. If it's 2, then Set this to low, the others to low, except for this one, which will be set to high. So that will be for 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We should see that the LEDs light up from left to right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Starting from pins 2, followed by 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, let's check. Start. One, two, three, four, five. Then wait for, uh, then do it again. Because in the code, we disabled the delay that used to be there. So currently, it's now being ignored. So let's stop the simulation. And let's do some debugging. If I will click here, and start the simulation. This should stop and allow us to find out what is the current value of n. So if we point there, we should see that n is currently 1. Then let's proceed to resume. Then it should stop again in that area, which we will call a breakpoint. Let's check, it's 2. Now, you can either run again or let's make it run or execute one by one. So, move to the next statement. What will happen next? Remember that n is 2. So, will this happen? Is n equal to 1? The answer, of course, is no. So, check, if n is equal to 2. Is n equal to 2? Yes, it is 2. So, what will happen next? So, that becomes low. So, it's low. So, 
second lab should now become high and the rest will be low so you can either do it step by step or again just make it run and stop at the breakpoint and again find out what is the value of n n in this case is 3 let's check so n is equal to 3 yes it's 3 then do this so low low and then the third one will be set to high and so on and so forth so this can only happen if you are in debug mode just click debugger just click that it allows you to select where you want to stop and proceed with the program either doing it again stopping in this breakpoint or by executing the following statements one by one for you to better understand how your program works or if you are searching for an error 